alkanoic acids or the carboxylic acids, the ones we say that have the functional group COOH, that is a carbon atom double bonded to an oxygen atom, and then that same carbon, all right, bonded to an OH group, okay? And of course, this is the functional group for the alkanoic acid. So today we're going to be discussing the nomenclature, nomenclature of alkanoic acids or the nomenclature of the carboxylic acids okay we're going to see how we can what name simple alkanoic acids all right and so on and so forth in this episode so do not forget that this tutorial is brought to you by the otl school jam cbt practice app this is the most interesting part of the class because the app asks all you need to succeed in your exam as all the past question so no need to go and buy past question ask lecture notes structured according to the jam syllabus so you do not need to bother about textbooks carrying the big textbook up and down because everything's in one app then there's also what the question search feature you can search for question according to topics and what's more there's a mock challenge that will conduct on the app every Saturday, all right? So you compete with all students that are writing JAM for this year. Compete to submit, get it to JAM pass questions, get it to JAM likely exam questions, and of course, see your score release every Saturday there by building your confidence toward the main exam. So, all right, so please make sure you jump on Play Store immediately, download the application, and activate it for just a little or token, all right? So please, if you want to reach out to us on WhatsApp, this is our number, 0912151 all right? can reach out to us on that number. So let us see the nomenclature of alkanoic acids. All right, so we have said before that they have that functional group COOH, which we have just uh, wiped from the board. But what's more is that what alkanoic acid, alkanoic, oic, oic. So if I'm naming what uh, carboxylic acids or alkanoic acid, they usually end in words in this word oic, okay? So that's why you can have a methanoic, the simplest, or the first member of the alkanoic family, methanoic acid. Okay, we now have what ethanoic acid, we have propanoic acid, we have butanoic acid, oic. So they always have that oic at the end. All right, so please take note of, of that. So the simplest member, as we said before, is HCOOH, which is what methanoic acid, methanoic noic acid. All right, so of course, if you want to draw that structure, that would be what H. C, double bond to O, then your what? Your O, which if you see, there can only be four bonds surrounding a carbon atom. So if you see here, it's complete. One, then there's two here. That is two, three, then four. So it's complete. This is our methanoic what, acid. That is why we can have methanoic acid. Because you may be wondering, why do we not have methane? We do not have methane. We do not have methane. All right? Those ones like we have, have stated in previous episodes. If you have not been following all our episodes, it's difficult for you to catch up. All right? So please go and watch from the beginning of organic chemistry. All right? Homologous series, hybridization, shape of orbitals, and so on and so forth. Go and watch all of them. Up to this what episode, and you see that what you have done yourself a great deal. All right, so please, that is methanoic acid. If you want to metamorphose to the second member, that is what ethanoic. That is having CH3 COOH. At least you have your C. Okay, then you have your CO. Okay, sorry. Then you have your C double bonded to O. Then you have your OH. That is this, this, this. H, H. H. Okay, you can see the bonds that are complete. One, two, three, four, yeah. One, two, three, four, yeah. So these are what? Our ethanoic acid. Ethanoic acid. All right. Ethanoic acid, we said it's also called what? Uh, acetic. Acetic acid. Please take note of that. That's the common name for uh, ethanoic acid. So let's go. Let us metamorphose. Let's say we're going to the third member that will be pro pro propionic acid or now called propanoic acid. Okay, so please, uh, that would be it's easy. Propionic acid is this. Okay, then C, 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 O, O, H. It's our propionic acid. All right, or you can just put instead of writing C, O, H, you can write, you can show the bonds. All right, O, H, then you can complete your structure. H, 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 H. H. These are propionic acid or your propanoic acid. So now, let us now see what are seeing what carboxylic acids they have what branch what chains. Okay, they have what uh, member they have substituent attached to them. That is where it now gets more interesting. And of course, it's all for to be drawing C C C up and down. We are going to continue with our stick form to make us what understand. So please, if you want to know or learn how to name what compounds in organic chemistry, it's very very easy. You just need to what practice. All right. So after the class, you write them out. You name them by yourself without looking at the board. Without looking at my 
master T. Okay, without looking at your commander. Okay, you name them by yourself. You see that what they are is it's an interesting thing to do. Okay, and then once you have done it, it sticks to your head. So let us see an example of one that has, let's say, a branch to, or sorry, a substituent attached. Okay, let's say we have this. Let's use we are using our stick form now. This one, two, three. Okay, then let's say, uh, of course, this is our what the bonded to O. Then the same, the same carbon here is bonded to an OH group. So these are what our COOH. Okay, so there's a carbon atom here. All right, that is bonded to what an oxygen that is bonded to an OH. All right, or in case you don't want, in case you don't understand it this way, you can just put it that way. Then this way OH or this way. Any way you draw it is correct. I can put it this way, OH. But if you, are, you have to show, it's still showing that oh, there's a carbon here. There's one carbon here that's not, because it's a stick form, so we cannot show it. All right? So now, let's say we have this structure, OH. Then, uh, then let's say there's a metal group uh, somewhere here. It's a metal group here. Okay? So now, what is the name of this structure? So what we have been doing, we have been naming all our structures from the beginning. Okay, so it's the same way we are going to do this. We are going to locate the longest chain of container carbon atom. Then, because we are talking about carboxylic acids here, it means that we are going to give preference to, if we want to number, so that we can name, we have to give preference to our carboxylic acid what functional group. All right, so this is where it starts from. So I am going to start numbering from here, one, two, Three, four. So, if you want to know the longest chain of continuous carbon atom or the number of carbon atoms in the parent chain, all right, we start numbering from the carboxylic acid. So, this is one, two, three, four. So, that tells us that it's what? It's a boot, okay, from butane, okay? So, now we have known that, but there's a metal group here, right? Why is it a metal group? Because every in this stick form, every bend, that's why I say go and, go and make sure you do not miss any episode so that you know, you'll be understanding what we are doing here. But right? every bend and every end is a carbon atom. So that means there's a carbon atom here. And if there's a carbon atom here, that means there'll be bond here, there'll be bond here, there'll be bond here. There'll be H here. H here, H here. That's how we know that it's a metal group that is here. Okay, so when we see something hanging like this, we already know that it's a metal group. So now we can name this compound. So we know that it's a metal group on the second carbon. So what will be the name of what of this compound? It will be two methyl. That is the position of the what of the substituent two methyl. Then how many carbon atoms? Four. Because it's a carboxylic acid. Okay, it will become very easy. Two methyl what? Butanoic, butanoic acid. All right, so it's as simple as ABC. So we have named what this what carboxylic acid. Okay, so this is two methyl because the substituent is on the second carbon, and of course it's a butanoic acid because we have four carbon in the what in the parent chain. It becomes very easy for us to what to name. Now let us metamorphose a bit further. Let's say we have something like this. We are still going to use our stick form. So let's say we have something like this. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, then we have the bonded to O here, then have what uh, OH here. All right. So let's say we have this kind of structure, and then we have a substituent what attached also. Let's say uh somewhere one, two, three, uh, four. Okay, let us say somewhere here, there's a methyl group, and then somewhere here, somewhere here, uh, there's an ethyl group. All right, so let us see. This something like this. So now we already have what a methyl group somewhere here. Then we have an ethyl group somewhere here. So you see the same way we norm, the same way we name the previous one. I want to use to name this. All right. So first of all, identify the number of carbon atoms in the what in the parent chain. How many are there? There's one here. So start naming from here one, then two here, then three, then four, then five, then six, then seven, then eight. Okay. So we have this. So we know that there are what. Eight carbon atoms in the parent chain that will make it what an octanoic acid. Okay, so let us keep that. Now we have what a methyl group on what on the third carbon. Then what group is this? It's a methyl group because there's, there's one carbon here, there's one carbon here. So it's a it's an ethyl group. So this is a CH2, then there's a what a CH3 group here. All right, so for that, we can now name our compound. All right, so methyl and ethyl, which one comes first? When you are naming, of course, you have to make sure that what you alphabetize. That means what? That the alphabet, that the smaller alphabet to come first before the bigger alphabet. So before methyl, there's ethyl, there's E before M. That's why I cannot say three methyl before you now say 
four ethyl. So you must say four ethyl because E comes before M. Or right before you now say three methyl. So now let's go. So I'm going to have what now? Four dash methyl. Okay. Then I'm going to have what now? Uh, three. Is that three? No, ethyl, not methyl. Four ethyl. Okay. Then I'm going to have three methyl. All right. How many, carb how many carbons are in the parent chain? Eight. So that's what? An octanoic acid. Simple as ABC. All right. So four ethyl, three methyl octanoic acid. All right. So now let us metamorphose again. Let's say we have an alkene. Okay. Let's say we have an alkene. In the, we have what? A double bond in the structure. All right. Let us see. Let's say we have something like this. All right, so I have something like this one, two, three, four. All right, here double bonded to O, then here it was your OH, and then say somewhere here there's a double bond. All right, so now you see very, very easy. Let nothing confuse you. Let nothing confuse you. Once you see it, you smile and say, You think, say, I don't know what you now want. This is very, very easy. All right, so now what do you do? So you name also, sorry, you number from your carboxylic acid group, let's say carbon atom here, one, then two here, then three. Then four here, yeah, then five. Okay, so we already know this. Now, the double bond is between the third and the fourth carbon. But right, since we are naming from here, from the this is what's this your right, right to the left. Since we are naming, we are numbering from your right to the left. That means our the carb, the double bond is on the third carbon. Abi, so simple as ABC. All right, so how do you now name this? All right, that would now be what three. How many? Carbon atoms are in the parent chain five. All right, the position of what of this uh, of this what double bond is on the third carbon. So this will be what now three pentenoic acid. All right, simple as ABC. Okay, the, it's an oic acid because it's a carboxylic acid with functional group in the structure. It's pentene, not pentane. This time it's pentene, not pentane. Okay, because what they say double bond is an alkene. And the position of what of this double bond is on the third carbon. That's why having three pentenoic acid. I hope that one is very, very, very what clear. All right, so we're going to what also metamorphose. Let's say we now have, um, for example, uh, all the high groups or ketone. Okay, uh, a substituent. So what do we now do? Okay, let us see an example. So let's say we have what uh, something like this. Let me show you something like this. Uh, uh, okay, let's say we have something like this. One, two, or, uh, uh, sorry, let me say one, two, three, four, five. All right, double bond to O. Then here, you are your OH. Yeah, there's a double bond here. There's, a, there's, there's O here. Okay, let's say we don't have any other group here apart from this. Now, let's, let, let's take note of this. Whenever there is a, a ketone group, whenever there's a ketone substituent, a ketone substituent or an aldehyde substituent, okay? When there's a ketone or aldehyde, a substituent, all right, we call them together. Whether it is ketone or whether it is aldehyde, we call them together as well as oxo, okay? So we say there's an oxo what group, all right? We call them together oxo, whether it's a ketone or an aldehyde, all right? We say it's a what? It's an oxo group, all right? So now, uh, when we are going to talk about um, alkanones, all right, and the uh, uh, alkanas, all right, when, when we are talking about them, there are something, there's something special we need to work to learn between both of them. So how can you dis distinguish between a ketone and an aldehyde, all right? So in terms of substituents, when you see, uh, a, when you see a carbon, okay, double to what to an oxygen like this, all right, and it is. An internal co uh, carbon, it is double bonded to an internal carbon like this. So it's, you can see it's, it's here, it's not at the end. It's not a terminal, it's internal. Whenever it is what double to what to an internal carbon, you have to you have to just know that what is a ketone. But if it's what bonded to what to an external carbon like this one and like and like this terminal carbon here, it is double to this terminal carbon here, you will obviously know that what it is not a ketone, it's an all behind. We will get there soon. So don't confuse yourself. Just understand that when there's what a ketone or an aldehyde, all right, bonding itself, okay, for me a substituent. We are naming them, we call them what oxo group. We call them oxo group. All right, so let's now do this. So now let us uh, identify the longest chain of continental carbon atoms here. This is one, two, 
this is three, four, this is five, six, all right? So the oxo group is on the fourth carbon, because this is a ketone, all right? So we're going to simply have what now? Uh, four oxo what? Uh, hexanoic acid. Okay, simple. Four oxo hexanoic what? Acids, as simple as ABC, all right? So now, let us metamorphose a little further. Let us metamorphose a little further. So we have another structure. So please, like I said, you can go back, draw the structures yourself, and name them. Name them by yourself so that it can work. You can become perfect. Practice the same, make perfect. Too. So please, if you have not liked this video, what I'm doing is very wrong. Click on the like button. If you're on Facebook, click on like button and click on the share button. Share. All right. If you're on YouTube, share to your WhatsApp, share to your Facebook, share to everywhere. Let people join in and what and learn. Okay, so let us continue. So let's say we have this structure. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, double one to O, then here our OH, and then let's say somewhere here we have what an NH2 group. Okay, and then somewhere here we have what an, an aldehyde. Okay, so like I said just now, then let's say somewhere here also we have um, uh, we have uh, OCH2 CH3. Okay, somewhere here. All right, so let us continue. So let's say we have something like this. This, this is also very, very well easy, okay? So this is what an amino group, all right? This is an amino group. Then of course, this is an, what, it's an oxo group. But is this an aldehyde or a ketone? This is an aldehyde, it's not a ketone, okay? The reason why this is an aldehyde is because it will have what, a CHO. There's a carbon atom here. Let me clean this so that you make this, so that I'll make, this, make you understand this. So that there's a carbon atom here, but at this end, there is normally the border to O, Abi. Now, that means there's a bond here, there, there are two bonds here. That means there will be one H here. You understand so that is why this is what a CHO okay not just a CO okay that is the difference between what a ketone and all the high so that is why this actually is what is an all the high it is not just a ketone it's an all the high okay so but if it's somewhere here if it's somewhere here now if this O would have bonded to O or somewhere here you first of all there are two things you reason there's a bond coming here one there's another bond coming here two Three, four. There will not be any way for what for H to form. That's why this will be a ketone. But this is an aldehyde. But together, if they are a substituent, what do we call them? We call them oxo groups. Okay. So now another important thing is that the group at the end, whenever we are naming, the group at the terminal end. Okay. At the end, usually takes priority. Okay. So here, either this aldehyde or what this carboxylic acid could easily take priority. But the carboxylic acid is a what? Is a more a stronger group than the world than the uh all the hard group so most times that's why we have one name this after the what the carboxylic acid the parent name would be carboxylic acid because it takes preference we take what a carboxylic um, acid group in preference than what than or than an aldehyde all right so naming this will be very easy i have an also group here remember there's nothing here what is this one here okay that's that's what ethoxy this is ethoxy Etoxy. I'll show you why it is etoxy. The reason why it's etoxy is not what far fetched. Okay, so if you have a carbon atom bonded to an oxygen atom, okay, we we'll call it what and what an oxy group. Okay, an oxy group. Okay, so from alkazi, there are alkazi groups. Okay, there are alkazi groups. So if you have what a carbon atom bonded to an oxygen, we we'll call it an oxy group. If it's now what a methyl group and an oxygen group. We call it a methoxy. That is why we call this one a methoxy. If this now was an oxygen plus an ethyl group, CH2, CH3 now, this one will call it what now? Ethoxy. Very, very easy. So if this what uh, uh, a propyl, okay? You know what to call it. You just continue that. So this is what a methoxy, this one is what? It's an ethoxy group. This an ethoxy group. This is what an amino group. This is what now and all the height. So we have identified all our groups. Let us what number and know the positions of each of these groups. Let's go. So here we have what our one, this is our two, this is our three, this is our four, our five, this is our six, this is our seven, this is our eight. Okay, so we can name this. So now uh this oxo O O, we have what etoxy, etoxy. Okay, we have what amino. Uh, minor, then have what oxo. All right, so which one will come, come first? 
Okay, a minor will come first before what he talks it, then Oxo will follow. So simple as ABC, I want to have what now? Uh, five he talks it. Five he talks it. Okay, then I'm going to have what now? Position of what? Amino. Sorry, it doesn't will not confess. Well, amino will confess, please. So, at four, Amino. Please take note. Then I'm going to have what now? Five, it talks in. Five, it talks in. Okay, then I'm going to have what? Eight, Oxo. Eight, Oxo. Okay, how many carbons are then dependent in eight? We have already uh, determined that to be eight. So I'm going to have what octanoic acid. Octanoic acid. It's as simple as ABC. So it's all the way we name them. So as, as, I think apart from the fact that we're just naming the nomenclature of carboxylic acid, we're also learning some new things. We're learning some new things. We're learning some new groups. Okay, so it's all fun. It's all fun. So let us metamorphose a little. Let's metamorphose a little. Let's say we have what now? Uh, a cyclohexane, all right? A cyclohexane having a carboxylic acid group. So let's say we have something like this. It's a cyclohexane, all right? It's a cyclohexane. Then let's say we have what our double to O and our OH. All right, so let's say we have something like this. So now, is there a ring here? No, there's no ring here, all right? So... Is there any uh, alternating double uh, and single bond here? No, there's nothing like that. It's just a simple one, cyclohexane, okay? Having a carboxylic or acid or group. So what we call this? We call this what now? Cyclohexane carboxylic acid, okay? We call this cyclohexane carboxylic acid, simple as ABC, all right? So it's done. Nothing more. There's a carboxylic acid group, and then there's a cyclohexane, cyclohexane carboxylic acid. So let us metamorphose a little bit. Let's say we now have the same cyclohexane, but let us have some groups attached to it. So okay, let's say we have something like this. All right, two, three, four. Our cyclohexane. Let's go. Sorry about my structure. Structure. Okay, so let's say we have this. Then have our C double bonded to O, then our OH. Then let's say we have somewhere here, we have what a bromine group, and then somewhere here, let's say we have what a methyl what group. Simple. So obviously we know it's a cyclohexane carboxylic acid, okay, because of what this carboxylic acid and this cyclohexane. Then of course we can number, this is our position one, this is our position two, our position three, our position four. Okay, so we have a bromo group, we have what a methyl group. So if you want to name this compound, we start from the bromine, two bromo. Okay, then what four? Four what methyl? Four methyl. Is there any other group? No. Then cyclohexane carboxylic acid. Simple as ABC. All right, so that is it. So I'm going to have two bromo, four methyl, cyclohexane, carboxylic acid. It's as simple as ABC. So let's metamorphose also. Let's metamorphose. So let's say we have something like this. We have something like this. Okay? Um, okay, let's say we have something like this. One, two, three, four, five. All right, let's say we have the body to our O. Then our what? Our OH. Okay? Let's say here we have what? Our, our hydroxy group. Then here, let's say we have a ketone. Okay, so simple. It's still simple. So now let us uh, identify the number of what, uh, carbon atoms in this parent chain. So this is our one, this is our two, our three, four, our five, and our six. This is an hydro group, an hydroxy group, an hydroxy group. This is what? A ketone. It's a ketone because it is not terminal. That's why it's not an aldehyde. It's an oxo group. So it becomes very easy for us to what? To name. So what is the number, uh, position of our, of our hydroxy group? H will come before O, right? So an hydroxy group is position number four. Our oxo group is position number five. So I'm going to have four hydroxy. Four hydroxy. They are now going to have what now? What is here? Uh, five. It's an oxo group, five oxo. Okay, they are not going to have what now? Six carbon atoms. That is what? Exanoic, exanoic what? acid. Okay, so that is that. So now let us see what uh, a benzene ring, then having a carboxylic acid 
group attached to it a benzene ring. We've done that one naming what benzene and its derivatives. Okay, so if you have a benzene ring, all right, a benzene ring, okay, then what attached to what a carboxylic acid group, and I write it like this. Or you say C double to O O H. Okay, so we'll call this one what now? Benzoic acid. So simple. So if you have a benzene ring that has attached to itself a carboxylic what acid what group, then we call that what a benzoic acid. The parent name is a benzoic acid. So let's say now we have what let's say we have some groups attached to this what uh, compound. Let's say we have O C H three here. That is what uh, our our methoxy. Okay, let's say we have OCH3 here. Let's say here we have what our OH group here. So it's simple. So what do we do? We number. We number starting from our giving priority to our carboxylic acid. So this is our number one, two, our three, and our four. Okay, methoxy and oxo, which are come from M O N E O. So M comes before what O. So this is our three methoxy. All right, then our what now four hydroxy. Okay, then I'm going to have what now? Benzoic, benzoic acid. Okay, three methoxy, four hydroxy, benzoic what acids. As simple as A, B, C. Okay, so let us now uh, have some. Uh, let us have another example uh, that will let us make us have maybe a dicarboxylic acid. For example, let's say we have something like this. Um, one, two, three. Okay, one, two, three, four. Then the bonnet to O. Yeah, sorry. The bonnet to O, then our OH, then here also the bonnet to O, then here our OH. I have something like this. Okay, so if we have something like this, as simple as ABC. Okay, so we can number one, two, three, four. All right, so what is this? So this is what the, the parent chain, there are four carbon atoms in the parent chain. Okay, that is butane. Okay, then of course, there's an this carboxylic acid group on the first carbon, there's another carboxylic acid group here on the fourth carbon. This is a carboxylic acid group, yeah? This is a carbon atom, the bonded to an oxygen, the same carbon atom bonded to what? An OH group, okay? So it's as simple as ABC. This is also, okay, sorry, so this is what? HO. HO is the same thing, okay? But it's obviously the, uh, the, the bond is directly bonded to the oxygen, not the hydrogen. Note that. So that is how I'm, that's why I read it to be what HO. Okay, so now, but it's the same what uh, 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 carboxylic acid group that is here, that is here also. So we have two carboxylic acid uh, uh, groups in one structure. So that will make it what a dioic acid, a dicarboxylic acid. But because it is butane, and I'm going to have what now, butane dioic acid. Okay, so this is what now butane dioic acid. The position does not matter. So you see before we are saying one comma four butane dioic acid. So this is butane dioic acid. All right. So now let us proceed. Let's say we have. Uh, let us look at the last structure. All right. So let's say we have something like this. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. All right. Double bonded to O, O H, double bonded to O. H O okay then let's see here we have what uh an entire group here okay a metal group here an entire group so as simple as ABC look at the, the longest uh, uh the longest chain of continuous carbon atom it's our one two it's our three it's our four our five and our six all right so now this a metal group here this is what an ethyl group here so it's easy ethyl comes before metal all right so I'm going to have our four Ethyl, all right. Then our what? Three methyl. Then what else? Of course, how many carbon atoms? Six. So I'm going to have what? Our exane dioic acid. Simple as ABC. So this is how what we name what our carboxylic acid. Very, very easy. Like I say, if you want to be good at this, you need to what? Learn how to what? Name them yourself. All the compounds, all the structures we have named. Okay, so far, go to past question, source for structures, and keep what naming them. Okay, if you do that, you see that we are doing yourself a very big favor. And of course, and you see, parents have been asking for all of this video. That's why we make sure, make sure that what we made them available on this channel. All right, so please make sure you download the Auto School Jump app and make sure you keep what following what your grand commander follow on Facebook. Give it a like. Okay, share on Facebook. Then of course, make sure that of, of course you are what you are. Uh, you download the app and you activate and keep what practicing your way to success. I'll see you in the next class where we start talking about 
preparation of what carboxylic acids, then up next we'll talk about reactions, then we'll talk about how to distinguish between an alkanol and a carboxylic acid, and we'll round up with carboxylic acid. I'd love to see you in those episodes. Thank you for watching. See you there.